This scene takes place at a gas station with an old grandma sitting in a car and crocheting some fabric. Notice the fabric that goes up around the seat. Fabric sounds like Fabre, so the fabric in this scene is our symbol for Fabre disease. If you look closely what this grandma is crocheting, you can see that it looks kind of like sausage links. There's a large segment followed by a narrow segment, which is what we use to represent neurons. The sausage looking fabric in this scene is used to help you remember that one of the clinical features of Fabre disease is peripheral neuropathy. Just like we've done with other videos, a car usually represents something cardiac related. So in this scene, the car should help you remember that another clinical feature of Fabre disease is cardiovascular disease. Notice that the car has a bunch of interesting looking rust spots on it. In fact, the rusted spots actually resemble an angiokeratoma rash. This is a picture of an angiokeratoma rash. Notice all of the little hemorrhagic spots. So the rusted chip paint on the car should help you remember that another clinical feature of Fabre disease is an angiokeratoma rash. Next, notice that we've added this out of order sign and this guy here is pretty bummed because they need some gas. He has the hose feeding into the gas tank, but this is all in vain because no gas is coming out. This idea represents the kidneys. The kidneys produce urine and are connected to the bladder and urethra through ureters, just like the gas station produces gasoline, which then exits the pump through specialized tubing. So in this image, the fact that the gas station is out of order should help you remember that a clinical feature of Fabre disease is progressive renal failure.